हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल टू शून्य आई एस हाउ मेनी डेज लेफ्ट फॉर द प्रिलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन 2024 135 डेज लेफ्ट इन दिस स्पैन ऑफ टाइम यू हैव टू कंप्लीट योर स्टैटिक पोर्शन एज वेल एज सो मच करेंट अफेयर्स टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम वी आर लॉन्चिंग अ कंप्लीट पैकेज विथ हॉलिस्टिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ करेंट अफेयर्स क्रैश कोर्स that will provide an end to end solution of current affairs in all its forms it will be holistic it will be dealing subject wise and will provide a solution for factual analytical conceptual contextual information related to the current affairs with the widest possible spectrum of time and resources i had been taking integrated current affairs batch and with that you know understanding the different nuances of the students what difficulties they face while solving the questions related to current affairs in the prelims examination has curated the scores current affairs crash course 2024 so that you can ace in the prelims examination as well as you can get maximum marks out of solving those mcqs let's look at the relevance of highly relevant current affairs in the examination here you can see the weightage of current affairs in the prelims 2023 paper subject wise here students i had been you know very liberal in giving the questions over there polity section economy section science and technology section and environment section these four sections have correlation with current affairs these had been direct questions 24 direct questions into the examination more than that you can expect around 30 plus questions had been there into the examination which had correlation with economic development and polity and governance section as well so why upsc is asking so many current affairs questions in the exam how does upsc define current affairs for the prelims examination it defines current affairs as the events of national and international importance bahut kuch aa raha hai usme it wants you to understand what technological developments are happening how policies are being made at the international level right now india is taking that seat so if you are not understanding the context of the current affairs it will be very difficult to score even in your static portions even the questions into the static portion for example fedex feds have increased their rates what will be impact on indian economy they may form a question into the static over here similarly into the polity whatever in the news environment section climate smart agriculture by fao they have asked this question in the examination therefore current affairs plays a very vital and crucial role just like bread and butter in the examination of prelims therefore it has been very well organized consolidation of current affairs consolidation students studying too much random facts is very easy but consolidated current affairs will only help you recall and get marks in the examination it has been organized subject wise like environment government schemes international relations polity economy defense health reports and indices and even under these topics certain sub topics have been there just like you study in your static subjects i have consolidated this current affairs in the form of topics and sub topics so that it becomes relatable and your brain can easily assimilate that understand that information very well now current affairs we need to understand what will be the coverage of this course widest possible coverage in two terms resources newspapers pib yojana prs these things will be covered these magazines will be covered you can relate with shunya magazine as well very wide coverage in terms of duration objective of this current affairs crash course is from last 2 to 3 years highly important facts will not be left you will get it in the class itself Be speaking perfectly jan 2023 to april 2024 coverage will be there context students it is very pertinent to understand the context in the examination sometimes peripheral questions are being asked for example g20 outcomes problem is there students study in silos 
G20 outcomes or G20 they will study as a different fact in IR when we will talk about global biofuel alliance they will study it in the form of environment section point is both the things are related if you understand the context well you will score into the examination well HFC is not an ozone depleting substance but why it is under Montreal protocol right now only through the help of context you can understand and get marks in the examination relevance to the point second and concise information will be provided to you so that you can understand it very well and remember it till the examination revision will become effective your revision will be effective because only 40 plus odd hours will be there for this current affairs crash course in this 40 plus odd hours small time in which you will be capturing so much of information in a holistic manner and immersive PPTs so that you can retain that information in the examination what are the course components so subject wise classification we have discussed it will be subject wise classified duration we have discussed then 360 degree coverage for comprehensive learning what do we mean by that 360 degree coverage Students, if we talk about energy transition, energy transition index, okay, energy transition index, we talk about World Economic Forum, we talk about I International Energy Agency, but these information needs to be understood under an umbrella concept that is energy sector. So, in the class, what will be provided to you is a 360 degree understanding of certain sectors so that you can understand what are the information under this umbrella like agriculture infrastructure fund has been created and every budget year you are following that more and more money is being given to it why infrastructure is important for that you need to understand the whole agriculture sector what are the problems and what are the important facts relevant to the prelims examination like drug administration post covid has become very important some part is looked after by ministry of health and family welfare some part you will see that will be looked after by ministry of chemicals and fertilizers under National Pharmaceutical Pricing Authority so that this sector wise se, this is called as 360 degree coverage for comprehensive learning will be provided to you in the class next is interlinkages of current affairs and static portion let me say that you would have been knowing that recently this kind of governor governor had been suspending certain ministers in Tamil Nadu this case happened then he revoked his suspension again this is an information of current affairs but from this a question will be made from static article 164 clause 1 this will become your static question in the examination and it will help you get marks in the static portion of polity a static portion of economy as well this kind of interlinkages will help you understand the current affairs better PYQ previous year questions along with the topics in the classroom itself in the classes only I will help you solve the PYQs along with the topics whatever we are studying is aligned with the previous year questions my objective is very clear because UPSC had been asking the questions in that line it is providing that beckoning light for us to understand and you know dig deeper into those kind of topics so previous year questions will be solved in the question why I am calling it solved it means that with the knowledge base that you have how you should approach a particular previous year question with relevant to the current affairs access to the PPTs yes you can download the PPTs and it will also help you revise better after the classes are over effective learning through PPTs you can see the PPTs are highly enriched in infographics moving ahead with digital India you can revise them into your tablets after seeing the lecture once you can easily revise them and that will help you your you know brain neurons to understand it well also so thank you guys see you in the class and ace in the examination